tonight taking on Van Lue and head coach Brad Clum saying, how about you play some defense and we're going to crash the boards tonight. See how well that works out here on the Tyler Clum drive. He's blocked by Xavier Temple, put back by Albert Hughes. Can't get there, but Mason Dotson is there to put it back. So crashing the boards is working well so far. Over on the other side, Van Lu trying to get it going. Freshman Jaron Klopfer gets the inside pass, and he puts it in for Van Lu. Following a rebound, Logan McClure takes the ball away and lays it up and in. And then we'll see some good passing here. Clum to McClure, to Dotson, two-pointer, long two, but it still counts as two. Allen East rolls tonight over Van Lu, 71 to 35. Good ball game in the Palace, Columbus Grove. Their fans could be fans of the week next week. Taking on Wayne Trace, Blake Reynolds. Post moves for the quarterback, the sophomore. Looking to follow up a fine freshman campaign. Back comes Wayne Trace. Trace in with the drive, three to two. Raiders in front in that opening quarter. Evan Hopkins, a little touch here. These two teams, good chance to make deep runs. I know it's only November, but boy, do they play good basketball. Then it's Tate Burnesser. Nice drive for him. Another sophomore for Coach Sodder's club. Look at this alley oop catch and finish by Grayson Flores. Timeout Wayne Trace as they trail eight to five. Then Gabe Clement. The long ball off glass. Oh, get to Windex. I heard him. He called it, but Wayne Trace tough at home. Look at Evan Moore. Get the offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Jace Vining. He hits the wing three. This one down to the wire, but the Raiders defend the palace. And they get a two-point win. 55-53. You see the numbers there. Nate Gerber, the big guy. 14 and 7, Sin also 14, Clement uh, with 11, Reynolds 15 and 10.